so I got these this morning. I chose NGK spark plugs because I use them in all my vehicles. They're dependable over a wide range of applications. The current application is the nitrous install on my truck. I chose the NGK 7s because they're two steps colder than the stock spark plugs, which is perfect for nitrous because it combats detonation. And I got eight because my motor is an eight cylinder. And one of these goes in each of the cylinders and um, they come supposed to come pre-gapped at 40 and this is a gap tool that has little pieces of metal of all varying widths that are put together so I found the 15 and the 25 and I pushed them together to make it one piece which equals 40 and I carefully try to slide it inside in the gap between the tip of the spark plug and the top of the spark plug. I'll show you. Put it in there like that. Now, this set that equals 40 didn't actually go in. So that means that if this is supposed to be gapped according to manufacturer specifications to 40, that I actually need to take a different tool and open the gap up a little bit. So this is a gapping tool. Also these things are for measuring just like that other tool was, but this one has this little thing on it and you take and you bend it back to increase the gap and you do it slowly and carefully so that you don't over gap it and then you've got to bend it back and bend it up and bend it back because then it could break or weaken it. So, and actually that was perfect because now that fits in there. So this is now a correctly gapped spark plug. And I only have seven more to do. And then I have to take the old spark plugs out and then put all of these in and hook them up to the spark plug wires and then we'll be able to take the truck out for a test run on my new 150 shot of nitrous. All done. Those are my spark plugs. All eight spark plugs have now been gapped and I decided to gap them to 35 because the um, manufacturer's recommendations are that they get gapped to 40.040. And I did read somewhere, actually several places online, that said that when you shoot nitrous, you have to subtract 0 .004 for every 50 horsepower shot you're doing and I'm doing 150 horsepower shot so um, that would bring it down to 28 and um, I got recommendation from another person who's very intelligent and does this a lot that I should do 34 or 35 so um, I figured I would listen to the human being so these are the spark plug wires and we upgraded them when we did the headers because a common problem on LS is that the wires get hot. So this is what a spark plug wire looks like when you take it off the spark plug. Um, you have to be careful that you don't pull on the actual wire because you can break it apart in there and rip it out of its connections and then not know it 
and reassemble everything and then you have a spark plug that's not firing. So as you can see I have four on this side. Okay now I have all the wires off. So I have to use a deep socket to get the actual spark plugs out of the head. So my theory is to do the most irritating ones first and that would be um, that one right there. It's the farthest one back and the most clustered with the headers. So here I go. Success. I got first one out. Okay. Four and four. I got them all removed. Now I have to put the new ones back in. So as you can see here, these are the two spark plugs lined up next to each other. The one on the left is obviously the new one, and the one on the right is the old one. The old one wasn't that old, it had only been in the vehicle for a few months. And the reason why we're changing them out is because we needed colder plugs for running the nitrous setup. Um, there's some differences between the two. You can see that the old one has a larger, more protruding tip than the new colder plug. Now, this is a visual that we got from nitrustech.com and here I have the new plugs put in and once you have the new plugs put in you have to reattach the plug wires to them but the first thing you need to do is put some dielectric grease into the tube. This helps protect it from moisture and insulates. Guys, when the uh, nitrous comes out, the uh, this is a single nozzle. When the fuel comes out, it comes right through the, uh, the middle there, through the large hole, like so. And when the nitrous comes through, it comes through the outer uh, holes. You see. I don't want to spray my phone, but yeah, so I'll step back and do it again. Nitrous, ouch, my fuel, fuel, nitrous, yeah.